All right, here I am. It's uh, it's called Road Inns One Mile Ahead. It's Warm Springs Road, according to the little navigation device. But um, yeah, this is a Celine Road, right at Warm Springs. It's waiting on the boys. I can see the dust trails back there. So anyway, just a small update. You could hear the the roaring of the Air Force jets come from somewhere over there and do I really want to go that way not really Good. Not too bad. All right. Waiting. We'll be getting going soon. All right, later. All right. So you see that little round turn to the left? Let's see. Right. It won't focus. Just just uh, south of North Pass. So we're coming up on North Pass, Marble Canyon. So we're going to go all the way to this area and then up this Joshua Flats. And back over here and then to the Eureka Valley Road. And then uh, turn around. Probably camp there. If we still have enough time, we'll uh, head back out the park and go to reward mine but anyway just to show you where we're at let's see so there's the boys are so the north pass is over there marble canyons over there and they're way up there yeah you guys are about what two miles three miles back I'm at the top of uh, this climb before the turn, up to uh, Marble Canyon. Yeah, about a mile from the uh, top of the pass. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, that's uh, Celine Valley. We're exiting Celine Valley. And this is Celine Valley Road. And Rubicon, Big Orange is doing just fine. Like a champ. All right, later. So this looks like the North Pass area. Say in the winter time it gets frozen into uh, ring tire chains or snow chains. Yeah, snow tire, tire snow chains. But yeah, it's kind of pretty. They got actual. Sorts of pine trees. Yep, this is Death Valley. Imagine that. Death Valley National Park, obviously. North Pass, and I guess Marble Canyon, somewhere around here. What did that thing say? 7,300 feet at the top. Whenever I get the pavement, that's uh, I'm gonna air up. I, I don't know if it's the heat or the altitude. It's saying that I've got 33 left, 33 right, 35 left rear, 32 right rear, and uh, I know I it wasn't at that. It was it was at like 30 psi, and the the right rear was at 28. Between the altitude and the heat, all the bumps on the on the road uh, is just heat up the tires. Now, if you hadn't it deflated, um, I've seen uh, like three or four blown up tires, exploded tires back there. So 
tires will explode if if you don't uh, take care of them. Deflate them. Especially for something like this. Makes for a smoother ride. I notice uh, if I go like 35, it's probably about as smooth as it's gonna get. But some conditions you just can't go that fast. Like this one, I'm on a shelf road. And I'm only doing 15. So. And the boys, they, they take their time. That's fine. That'll, that'll give me time to reinflate for the uh, paved or portion of it. Now I'm sitting here guessing what should I inflate it to? The 40? Hey, there's two more back there. There's two more. I don't know. I don't know how far back. They're they're way back there, but there'll be two guys. Two more guys? The yeah. Jeeps or whatever? Uh, one of them is a Toyota Tundra pickup. Okay. And the other one's a Suzuki. Uh, with a rooftop tent. <laughs> okay. You guys had Celine? Yeah. Hot Springs, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. So. Uh, are you recording? I'll leave yeah, you. I was recording. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> and I was just saying that back there I was doing like 35, but here I'm only doing 15. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then boom, oh my God. Here's the first one I've seen all morning. We, we started off at uh, 7 in the morning. Um, okay. Just south of, on the south portion of racetrack. Okay. Yeah. So, uh. Yeah, we, we actually I woke up at five, and by the time we got breakfast all packed up, everything about seven a.m. we started hitting. Yeah, yeah, one guy come through about midnight, and that was it. Yeah. You know, I was up a little further up. But. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm glad we did that at that time. You know, no traffic. Right, this right. you're the first traffic I've seen. Yeah, well, it's only Wednesday, so. Yeah, you know. yeah, and it's three and a half hours later. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's right, cool. Man. You take care. Nice, nice seeing you. Yeah. All right, so that was a close call. <laughs> Woo wee! <laughs> but luckily, the road is wide enough in this portion, so no problem. Thinking that's probably all I'm gonna see until the until the uh, paved portion of it. Wednesday, I guess. Not much traffic on Wednesdays. Anyway, alrighty. I better sign out here. Have a good one. So check this out. I don't know, the map doesn't even show it. Yeah, we're on this Wakoba Saline Road. Very shady entrance. Totally blew right by it, so I backtracked and picked up the boys. And uh, so, so we wouldn't get lost. And they were like, huh? And we're all like, huh? <laughs> but we're in agreement. We're going to go ahead and take this road. Uh, my Magellan knows it. Even the Jeep navigation knows it. So... But it is shady. <laughs> Hopefully nobody's coming the other way. But based on the tracks, it, I'd guess nobody's been here for three or four days, maybe. Maybe longer. The tracks look kind of weathered. But uh, yeah. Pretty nice. It's beautiful country. Excellent. Beautiful. Had a downshift to the uh, manual because we are going downhill. This is an e ticket ride. Thought we were kind of done with this kind of road, but. It's, it's different. At least it's not a shelf road. But boy, there's a lot of rocks on the sides. But, uh, beautiful. Wakova Saline Road. 
I did not create a GPX file for this, but um, I just picked some some uh, stuff in my list. In fact, maybe I should update you on the on my on my list of where we're going. Um, yeah, so from took the uh, Saline Valley Road, Wacoba Road, and then uh, Eureka Dunes, but I. That Wacoba is the Wacoba Saline Road. And uh, next we'll select uh, the Eureka Dunes Road. But that's, uh, that's it in a nutshell. So, but apparently there's other ways to do this little roundabout, but I think this is a shortcut based on the Jeep's navigation. So, but what the heck? of a shortcut <laughs> a Jeep shortcut well I don't know two wheel drive Toyota Tundra shortcut ay 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 look at this ah yeah check that out what do we have here yeah and now we rejoin the main road whatever this road is and what does it say Magellan says to keep on cruising. It'll it'll yell at me if I'm going the wrong way. And <laughs> my Jeep was yelling at me, so I had to switch it back to drive. All right. I'll wait right here for the boys, cause I don't want them getting lost. All right, take it easy. So here we are at the top of this uh, Wacoba Saline Road, or whatever it is these days. But uh, yeah, that was a huge shortcut. It's not on the map, very few people take it. Huge shortcut, and we're right back on the main road. So, that's cool. Beautiful up here. I guess it's supposed to snow on Friday. is in all right back to you ladies still here at the uh this top of the wakoba saline pass area i guess it's 6300 60 something like that feet above sea level some people camp there right where we're parked that you can see the the road way over there and i don't even know where we rejoined but we rejoined somewhere that sketchy road yeah it was a huge shortcut sketchy but it, it worked out pretty cool i love my magellan navigation device uh, the off-road yep yeah, and I didn't even have this one planned. These, they they wanted to come up here, and willing to risk uh, the dents that he gained on his Toyota Tundra. Okay, took me all night to convince me, but okay. All right, talk to you later. So here we are. We're re-airing back up. We're about to hit pavement again. Actually got this tip on the pro on the Project Farms. Shout out to Project Farms on this uh, compressor. It works excellent. Husky. I think I paid twenty-three dollars for it. Ninety-nine cents for uh, extension cord, fifteen footer. I'm just going to forty. Anyway, All right, that's about it. For this one. I don't know if I caught that, but I'm down an M5, a lot of Joshua trees, downhill. And, uh, anyway, pavement, it's a paved section, northwest uh, corner of uh, 
Death Valley National Park. Alrighty. Showing you that section. I had re inflated for that. That uh, tire inflator at Project Farms. They did a review on a bunch of uh, different uh, tire inflators, and uh, that one was pretty good for the money. I think I paid $23. And then I think I paid $1.95 for, uh, for the extension cord. Plugs right into the back of the center console. And um, yeah, I think I got it, the uh, extension cord at $0.99 cent store, $1.95. Something like that. Anyway, just thought I'd share. Talk to you soon. All right, now we've descended that mountain. Looks like uh, we're gonna be uh, going back up. Another one. This is the northwest portion of uh, Death Valley and it is paved in this section. It's an Inyo National Forest and Death Valley. It's a connection road. 